Hey what's up guys in this video I will be showcasing you how we can take a screenshot with four different methods on the Galaxy A35 5G. The first way to take a screenshot is using the two button combination. To use this method you need to press the volume down and the power button simultaneously and you can take the screenshot quite easily. You can find these buttons on the right side of your device so quickly press and release both of these buttons to take a screenshot. Another advantage of this method that it is going to be work even your device is locked. Do note that if you press and hold both of these buttons then the power menu will pop up. Don't press and hold both of these buttons just press and release both of these buttons immediately so you can take the screenshot. The second method to take a screenshot on Galaxy A35 5G is using palm swipe gesture. To take a screenshot simply swipe your palm across the screen from left to right or right to left to take a screenshot. To do this, you should have the edge of your palm close to the screen and slightly bend. This will save the screenshot you have taken. If you are having a trouble with this method, then there are a couple of things you can check. Firstly, ensure that the palm swipe gesture is enabled. So go to the settings, then advanced features, and then motion and gesture. Here, make sure swipe to capture is on. If you are using a screen protector, you may need to adjust your touch sensitivity settings. To do this, go to the settings, then display and toggle on the touch sensitivity on. With the setting enabled, you should be able to take a screenshot using the palm swipe gesture without any issues. So another method to take a screenshot is using the edge panel. To use this method, go to the edge panel by pulling this handle. Swipe through the boards until you reach the task page. Look for the take screenshot button and tap on it. It will save the screenshot on your device. If you cannot find the task page on your edge panel, you can add it through your settings. So open up your settings, go inside display, then scroll down and select edge panel. Make sure this toggle is on and then tap on panels. Select the task page from these available boards by tapping on it. You will see a check mark that confirms the board has been added. In the future, capturing the screenshot will be easy for you. Simply open up the edge panel, then tap on screenshot and you can easily take the screenshot using that particular method. Method to take a screenshot on your Galaxy A35 5G which involves using the screenshot button. To begin, navigate to the page that you want to capture. Swipe down from the top of the screen to access the quick panel. Once quick panel is open, locate and tap on screenshot button. This will capture the screen and save the images as a screenshot. If you cannot find the take screenshot button in the quick panel, then follow these steps. Open the quick panel by swiping twicely down on the screen from the top. You will see a pencil icon at the top of the screen. Tap on it. From there, you can select whether you want to add the button to the top or full section of the panel. Select any one of them and then search for the take screenshot button. Now from the available buttons, tap and hold to take the screenshot button and drag it on the top. Finally, tap done and you will find the take screenshot button in the quick panel. A bonus tip for you, a long or scrollable screenshot is a method to save multiple pages in one screenshot. So let me show you how to do it. To start with, go to the page or the app you want to save the screenshot. For example, let me go to the settings, take a screenshot using any of the methods shown before. I will use the take screenshot in a quick panel method. You get this toolbar with this. If you reach the end of the page or stop tapping the long screenshot button, the screenshot will automatically save to the gallery by default. To access the screenshot, go to the gallery, then album, tap view and all the screenshot folders will appear and you will find all the screenshot irrespective of the method you have used. So guys, that is it in this particular video. I hope this video has helped you out in some way. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Peace.